بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد رسول الله I begin with the name of Allah. All praise belongs to Allah. May peace and blessings be upon the Prophet Muhammad for he is the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Alhamdulillah, we've been talking about the five daily prayers, the beginning and the end of every prayer. Now, there's certain times when it's not permissible to actually pray. This might be a shock to some people. There's certain times of the day when you're not supposed to pray. Let's get into these specifics. So Imam Anawawi, he says, one may not perform a prayer with no particular reason during the following times. What does this mean? Let's break this down. A prayer with no particular reason. This refers to not the five daily prayers, but what's called a voluntary prayer. For example, praying istikhara. When you want some type of guidance in your life, you don't know which job to take. You don't know where to move to. You don't know if you should marry this person or not. You pray istikhara. This is called a prayer with no particular reason, la sababa lahu, because you don't have to pray this at any particular time. It's not like fajr that has to be between this and this, or dhuhr which is performed between this time and this time. Istikhara, you pray whenever you feel like praying it. So it's not tied to a specific time or even a specific occasion. It's sort of just floating around out there. Now there's three times in the day that you're not supposed to perform these prayers. One is right after the dawn prayer. After the dawn prayer, until the sun rises high in the sky. So roughly about after sunrise, 20 minutes after that. From sunrise until 20 minutes, you're not supposed to pray these prayers that have no particular reason for them, like istikhara. So that's one. Another time you're not supposed to pray is right at the zenith, right when the sun is at its highest point. Now, this only lasts for a moment. But you're not supposed to intentionally start praying at that time. When you see the sun right at its highest point, at its zenith in the sky, you're not supposed to start praying. That is prohibited. And then thirdly, after you perform the Asr prayer, all the way until Maghrib, until sunset. So after you perform Asr, let's say at 4 o'clock, and the sun sets at 5.30, that time, you're not supposed to pray any prayers without any particular reason. They say not only is it prohibited, haram, it's also invalid, what's called qayru sahih. It's like, even if you perform the acts of prayer, you're not even praying. It's not considered a prayer at all. And when you look at these times of the day, why is it prohibited to pray at these times? It has to do with the positioning of the sun. When the sun just rises, when the sun is at its highest point in the sky, and when the sun's about to set, after you perform the asr prayer, that is. Because historically, people who worship the sun, they would designate these specific times. Because the sun's rising, the sun's at its highest point, the sun is about to set. They would worship the sun during these times. So as to not emulate these people, it's prohibited to pray during these times of the day. So that's that. Now, to clarify, there are certain prayers that don't have a specific time or occasion, but they're still permissible to do during these times. So for example, when you go to the masjid, and you pray turaqa to welcome the masjid. They call it at greeting the masjid. That's perfectly fine. You can do this any time of the day, no matter where you are. This also applies to make-up prayers. A make-up prayer is when you miss a prayer in the past, and now you're making it up now. You can perform these any time of the day. There's no restrictions. Alhamdulillah. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ala sahabihi wa ala atba'ihi. حتى يوم القيامة والسلام تسليما كثيرا